Alright guys, and in today's video, we're gonna be going from a $1 car all the way up to a $100 million car. This video is gonna be crazy. Alright, so the first car we have is... Is this even considered a car? Uh, right here, we got the 2008 Journey Deluxe. Now, this thing is definitely... Definitely... Uh, it's interesting. It's got... It's got a trunk, but with no room, but at least you got two seats with, uh, two opening doors to one seat. Pretty interesting, but in this car, this car is running an insane engine, as you can see right here. Just look at it, dude. It's actually insane. There's nothing there, but you know, you gotta, you gotta use your imagination. It goes pretty fast. For top speed, it goes 149, uh, basically 150 with boost. Now, you wouldn't expect this thing to do 150, but it does, so it's very uh, surprising. Now, it can do races. I will show you this on a race real quick. Let's just pick a race in the racing hub. Let's do a uh, rush hour race. Let's just see how this two-seater mini car races on the rush hour race. Okay, it's got a weird thing that that comes out of the back when you accelerate but i mean whatever makes it go as fast as it does it corners pretty good for being a two-seater car that if you flips you just better pray for your life all right now this car did pretty good it's pretty surprising because i've done i've raced on cars that are slower than one minute on this race which is pretty crazy this thing almost did a sub sub one minute on the rush hour this this thing's uh pretty interesting but let's go to the one hundred thousand dollar car in driving empire all right so this is the one hundred thousand dollar car in driving empire it is an audi rs7 hatchback is that what it's called i'm pretty sure uh sport bag yeah close enough now this one's a four door you know you got one two Three, four, four doors. Yeah, that's four doors. It's a, it's a pretty good looking engine. You know, it's a, oh, it's a V8. It's a V8. So that's that's got it. It's got to be pretty fast for an Audi. And uh, you got a trunk, a lot of trunk space. Probably you could fit like, oh my god, probably like three bodies. Wait, what? But uh, let's just see the interior. So the interior's got to be pretty nice, right? Okay, kind of has like an Audi badge with the RS logo and uh, pretty good seats. I like these seats. Now let's just see the top speed of this $100,000 car in driving and bar. All right, so I'm going pretty fast, 205 without boost, and I go 233 with boost. This thing is pretty fast. So let's try not to fall off the world right here. Okay, but $100,000, you could go about 232 miles per hour in driving and bar. That, that sounds pretty good. Now let's do another race in this car. All right, guys, so now we're in the rush hour race with the $1,000 or $100,000 RS7. Let's see how it performs. Okay, decent handling, but it could be a little bit better. It could be a little bit better. Now let's see how it reacts to this ramp right here. Hopefully I have good suspension. Oh my god. Oh, 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 okay. That was very, very nice. I will actually take that. Now let's just finish this race, bro. I feel like this car did pretty good, especially because I'm an actual terrible driver at any race I'll do in this race. But I got sub 50 seconds. That's pretty good for a $100,000 car in Driving Empire. This thing's a pretty nice car. Now let's get on to the $200,000 car. All right, guys, and this car is $200,000 in Driving Empire. This is the McLaren 600 LT Coupe. Now, this thing's pretty good looking. I mean, look at that exhaust in the back. That is pretty nice. And this one has butterfly doors or whatever you want to call these. Yep, that's what $200,000 gets you in a car. You got these butterfly doors with a pretty nice interior, of course. This is a McLaren. It's a pretty nice looking car. I really like the spec on it and the doors. Those are really nice doors. Now, let's just see the top speed on this car. Of course, let's see how fast this car goes because this thing is a McLaren. It's the first supercar of the video, so let's see how fast it goes. All right, so without booze, I'm going about 205 miles per hour now with boost i'm going about 230 which is the same uh, same speed as the rs7 i just did that one was completely upgraded while this one is uh completely stopped but it's still pretty nice of course it has the doors and it is a mclaren so that's a pretty nice one now let's just do a race in this thing and see how this mclaren races for a two hundred thousand dollar car all right the race is starting in the two hundred thousand dollar mclaren 600 lt coupe let's see how i do in this race all right, so the handling could be better, but I think that might just be a skill issue on my part. Oh, I'm sleeping out a little. Yeah, I probably should have upgraded this thing because it's a, it's a bit slippery, but we, we could work with it. Let's see how this ramp goes. It never goes well for me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, what the... F okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're still going. It's actually doing slower than that Audi RS7, which is pretty surprising because I literally did one minute in that $100 car, and this one's still going 56 seconds. I mean, it isn't upgraded at all, and I'm slipping everywhere. 
but still a pretty nice car. Of course, it has the butterfly doors. Now let's get on to the $300,000 car and driving in park. All right, so this is a $300,000 KTM Expo. This thing is very, very nice. Now this one is called actually the KTM Expo GTX. It's got a very nice uh, spoiler and it's completely carbon fiber. Really nice and it has this very cool opening door. Is that even considered a door? And uh, it's got this cool opening panel for the engine, which I can't even tell which that's running. But it's very, very nice. As you can see, look at the steering wheel. This thing is completely racing. Now, if you don't know what KTM is, they usually make bikes. But they decided to make a supercar, and it is actually very, very nice. So let's just see the top speed on this thing. And first of all, let's just see how this thing drifts, because I know this thing drifts really, really, really well. All right, for $300,000 in driving empire, you can go 240 miles per hour stock and... 268 with boost. I think I feel like it's it could go a little faster. It just doesn't want to. But this thing is track based. This thing is actually insane, going 268 miles per hour. So let's go to the track and see how this thing performs. All right, let's see how this KTM for $300,000 in Driving Empire performs on this race. Oh my God, it has very very good handling. It, it's, it's just cornering very very well, and I'm keeping up with the Hennessy Venom up there. Okay, okay, we're doing still pretty good. Let's see how I do on this ramp up here. It really never goes well. Woo! Oh my god, uh-oh. Oh! Alright guys, we got a bit unlucky, but we were only like three seconds slower. I, I could do better. I feel it. I really think I could beat that Hennessy time, but it's completely fine. This thing is actually a beast for $300,000 in Driving Empire. Now let's get to the $500,000 car in Driving Empire. Alright, so this is the $500,000 765LT. So this one, of course is a spider so the roof can come off in this very fashionable way as well with the spoiler can come up for a more sportier mode this is a very nice spec on this 765 lt i really like this paint and the calipers the black wheels and the red interior now this one is probably the most beautiful car of this video this one's very nice looking as it is very very fast i will show you the top speed on this mclaren 765 lt spider all right so without boost you can go about 250 46 and with boost you go about 273 so this car is very fast probably one of the fastest cars of the videos yes it is now for five hundred thousand dollars how good can this car do on the track on rush hour all right now let's do this rush hour race and see how it performs hopefully this ramp goes well no no f let's just uh start the what the frick guys i'm kind of slipping everywhere i have drift tires on uh oh Okay. Oh my god, I'm slipping everywhere. I'm slipping everywhere. Wow, okay, uh, I can explain. I have slippery tires on this car that I forgot to take off. I mean, look. Yeah, I probably should put race tires on it instead of drift tires. So, uh, let's just do redo that race real quick. Alright, I would take that. 46 seconds, about 5 seconds slower. Now, this thing, it, it took 3 times, but it's fine. We, ha we had some troubles. Uh, just some little troubles, but it's completely fine. This is $500,000 car in Driving Empire. Now, let's do the next car, which is gonna be a $1 million bike. Alright, so you gotta mix it up a little. So we got this $1 million motorbike in Driving Empire. Now, I'm putting this thing in the video because it is actually insane for $1 million. I just gotta mix it up, put a bike in. Now, let's just show you how fast this thing is for a bike. I mean, this thing is actually insane. So without boost, you go about 300 105 miles per hour fastest car already now with boost 336 miles per hour oh 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 okay we're all good we're all good now let's just do a drag race with this because you can't really do any other race with it i'll do a highway and a drag to show you my best time on drag is literally set with this motorbike and driving in part as you can see my ghost is literally a duplicate of this thing this thing's actually insane i will show you the acceleration you literally get the 300 in three seconds ready one go I'm literally already up to 300 miles per hour, and I just finished the race in three seconds, dude. Three whole seconds. I did that freaking drag race. Top speed was 337 miles per hour. This this one million dollar bike is actually insane. Now I'm gonna show you how this thing does on the highway race because it is also one of the fastest cars on highway. All right, with a time of 24 seconds, I'm only about three seconds slower than the fastest car in the game which is absolutely insane for a one million dollar motorbike in driving empire now let's go to the next vehicle which is gonna be a five million dollar car now here is the five million dollar hennessy venom f5 this is one of the fastest cars in driving empire going up to 400 miles per hour let me just show you real quick with these insane doors that go up like this 
And this insane engine, this thing produces uh, like a, lo a lot of the horsepower. I mean, it goes 400 miles per hour. I mean, it's a pretty insane looking engine. So let's just show you how fast this thing goes in driving in par. Barely touching the gas, I go about 300. Hold up, hold up. We're getting there, we're getting there. 300 and, oh my God, it's still going up. 372 miles per hour. Now with boost, I go about 400 miles per hour even. Oh my God, oh! This is not gonna be good. Oh my God, okay. Yep. All right, so that never happened, but 400 miles per hour. This thing is crazy. One of the fastest cars in the game. I will show you how this thing does on a highway race. Okay, let's do a highway race with this thing real quick, because this thing goes 400 miles per hour. I will beat that $1 million motorbike time, and I will just show you how fast this car literally goes. It's actually insane. Two, one. Okay, let's go. So it's not going to be faster than the Devil 16, because that car is a, a little bit more expensive. But I will show you how fast this thing goes. All right, so I'm at... 400 miles per hour right now on the highway race this thing is actually very very quick with a time of 24 or 23 actually 23 four six four two it's only about two seconds slower than that fastest car in the game which this car is five million dollars and you could go 400 miles per hour actually one of the most insane cars in the game now let's do something crazy the last car of the video is going to be 100 million dollars now i personally do not own this car so i'm going to get my friend carter the car to let me borrow his because this car unfortunately is 100 million dollars and as you can tell um i don't have 100 million dollars so I, I i was i wasn't able to buy this car so let's just go and borrow his and i will see you then all right guys now we got a 100 million dollar car in driving empire this is the mercedes i i really don't know it's like a 300 sl it's pretty rare this is like one of two or one of one it's a hundred million dollars it's like 140 million dollars in real life and it was used in the gambling update where you had to use robux and so unfortunately i don't have it but i'm borrowing it from my friend carter the car you can see him uh, all the way over there but this is the 100 million dollar car in driving empire the engine is actually insane i mean is this is this like a jet engine or what was why is it so big but it's got a really nice interior as you can see look at that big steering wheel and that those nice seats dude those look comfortable and then a uh, big trunk space with two two other like uh, extra tires in it so let's just do let's just drive this thing around and uh see how it races and how it drives so you got to be careful driving 100 million dollar car you don't want to crash it because uh uh, I don't think my insurance wants to cover that, but it, it's, it's all good. We're going 187 miles per hour right now, so let's do a top speed test. 187 without boost, and 214 with boost. This being a very, very old car, that is pretty surprising. This thing's actually pretty fast for how old it is. Now, let's just take it on a race real quick. I'm actually very scared to drive this thing on a race, but let's do a rush hour race in a $100 million car in Driving Empire. All right, now we're doing the rush hour race in a $100 million car. This thing is going to be insane. Three, two, one. I better not crash this thing, dude. All right, good. Pre pretty good acceleration. I mean, for $100 million, <laughs> you kind of want it to, like, fly or something, but it has pretty good brakes and pretty good handling, and the exhaust pipes are pretty interesting how they come out the side. All right. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to wreck this thing. <gasps> Oh, I don't know if I hit that wall. I, I hopefully I didn't hit that wall. I mean, it's pretty good at it's pretty good at racing. I mean, I'm taking oh no, that that was close. That was very very close. Uh oh oh shit! All right, you did not see that, but I'm finishing the race in under one minute, which is pretty surprising because this thing is a 1962 car for a hundred million dollars and driving a par. I mean, this thing's pretty sick. Do you guys think it? Tell me in the comments. Do you guys think this car and driving empire is worth? 100 million dollars because just look at this thing and then i'd be like is that 100 million dollars or not but i mean pretty crazy i mean that i don't even know what that is right there but probably some design oh it's probably for that thing right there pretty crazy opening doors for 100 million dollars this is what you can get in driving apart this very rare 1962 mercedes pretty crazy this is going to be the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed this is one dollar to 100 million dollar car in driving apart now let's just uh carefully return this to its owner and uh, that will be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.